Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. God bless you. And welcome to our home on this wonderful Father's Day, this wonderful afternoon. Hallelujah. Welcome, Lorna. Welcome, Isaac. Welcome, Mom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Friends, we've got some birthdays. We've got some anniversaries. And we've got some prayer requests. We're going to bring them before the Lord right now. And I know God's going to minister and touch and just undertake in each one's life. Hallelujah. And friends, we just want to welcome uh, all the fathers, all those around the world, the, the, those that are watching online, those are from the church. We pray God's richest blessings upon you. And friends, that doesn't mean that it's they're not inclusive of all the, the, the moms and the dads and the grannies and grandpas and all the children. We welcome you to the service and we want to encourage you. Friends, remember, we stand together. And where there's unity, there's strength. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to pray for those that are having birthdays. And we're going to also pray a special prayer over the fathers today. Hallelujah. Friends, we pray for um, Tombile uh, Marikana. We pray for Josh Reddy having a birthday this week on the 22nd. Uh, then on the 20, also on the 22nd, uh, Emika Duri, Duru. On the 23rd is uh, Sibenzile Glovo. On the 23rd is Marcel Hawkins. On the 24th is Pauline Mawairera. And then on the 24th also is Demokatso Moralong. On the 25th is the, the twins' birthday, uh, Tando and Sino Tando Dlamini. On the 26th is Angie Pelsa. And on the 27th is Tiana Reddy and Daisy Sampson. Hallelujah. We pray for God's richest blessings upon those. Got a lot of birthdays this week coming. Hallelujah. We've got for Carol and Dickie Shaw. Today is their uh, anniversary. And we pray for God's richest blessings upon Carol and Dickie. Hallelujah. We just say thank you to the Lord for uh, baby Faith that uh, she's been able to go home with her mom Yolanda. And we know God's going to complete that healing in Jesus' mighty name. Maybe there's other needs that have uh, come through. We bring them before the Lord right now. Some don't want it to be broadcast. But we pray for you today. We know that God's in control. Those that have been uh, asking for prayer, we've been praying for you. And I want you to know that. No, we don't have to broadcast it. But we bring it up to, to the Lord. And we bring it before His throne. And we know that God answers every prayer. Hallelujah. God is in control of our lives. Hallelujah. We give God praise. So I want us to just uh, lift our hands to heaven as we pray for those birthdays, anniversaries. We pray for those that are on the prayer lists. And we also pray for the fathers right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we love you, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. We thank you for this day. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we will be glad and we will rejoice in it, Lord God. Today, Lord God, we bring our fathers before you all around that Lord online, those that are here in the church. Uh, those, Lord God, that are part of the, the church family, I pray, Father God, that, Lord, that you'll bless them. Give them the desires of their heart, I pray. Bless their homes. Uh, bless their children. Uh, bless their marriages, I pray. I thank you, Father God, for your blessing upon their lives, I pray, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for those that are having birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, Lord, we've named them now. I ask you, Father God, to just bless them. Give them the desires of their heart, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord God, that your goodness will flow upon their lives. Uh, we thank you for faith, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. We claim healing. We speak life. Uh, we speak healing over her body. And I thank you that by your stripes, uh, faith is healed in Jesus' mighty name. And all those other uh, uh, requests, Lord God, we bring them before you right now, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that by your stripes, uh, they will be you, that you intervene in every situation. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you thanks and praise and glory for you alone are worthy and worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Lord, as we go into a time of praise and worship, have your perfect will and way. Move by your power and by your spirit, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go for it, Lord. I give, I worship you. I worship you. I give, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. 
Lord God Almighty, reign. 
Father God, I just pray, Lord God, that you meet each one now at the point of their need. Father God, we pray for our fathers. We pray, Lord God, that, Lord, that you'll bless them, that they'll feel special, Lord God, that they'll be, Lord God, appreciated in their homes. I pray, Lord God, that, Lord, that they will lead, Lord God, and not just be the boss. I pray, Lord God, that they will be men and of integrity, I pray. I pray, Lord God, that, Lord, that they will raise up sons and daughters that will bring glory and honor to your name. I pray for the, the men. I pray, Father God, for the fathers, especially today. That, Lord, that you meet each one right now in their home, at wherever they are right now, listening to this all over the internet. I pray, Lord God, that you'll bless them. I pray, Lord God, that they'll begin to know that they are special to you. Lord God, let us have a father's heart. Let us begin to emulate you, Lord God, and be more like you, I pray. I thank you, Father God, for your blessing right now. And I pronounce a blessing over the church, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that, Lord, as we take to your word right now with declarations, I pray for your blessing even now, Lord God, as I declare your word even now. Father God, as we come in line with Job chapter 38 verses 12 to 13 Lord God and this I want you friends to believe what God's word is saying we normally start off with Job chapter 22 28 says I shall also decree a thing and it shall be established but I want you to go a little bit further to Job chapter 38 verses 12 and 13 it says hath thou commanded the morning have you decreed blessing over your life and I want to encourage you here today to begin to decree blessing over your life right now. See, you have you commanded the morning. Friends, otherwise, if you don't command the morning, the morning will just take its own route with your life. But since the, the days and cause the day spring to know his place, verse 13 goes on and says here that the wicked might be shaken right out of it. Friends, just shake that wickedness right out of our lives, right out of our day in the name of Jesus. That thing that always comes uh, to try and destroy us and pull us down. We shake that very wicked wickedness right out in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that I will live as a healer. I am sensitive to the needs of those around me. I will lift up the fallen, restore the broken, and encourage uh, the discouraged. Uh, I am full of compassion and kindness. Uh, I won't just look for a 
miracle. I will become someone's miracle by showing God's love and mercy everywhere I go. This is my declaration. I decree and declare. I will put actions behind my faith. I will not be passive or indifferent. I will demonstrate my faith by taking bold steps to move toward what God has put into my heart. My faith will not be hidden. It will be seen. I know when God sees my faith, He will show up and do amazing things. This is my declaration. I decree and declare right now. Hallelujah. And I pray that you're hearing the word of the Lord. I decree and declare breakthroughs are coming in our lives, in my life. Sudden bursts of God's goodness. Not a trickle, not a stream, but a flood of God's power. A flood of healing, a flood of wisdom, a flood of favor. I am a breakthrough person and I choose to live breakthrough minded. I'm expecting God to overwhelm me with his goodness and amaze me with his favor. This is my declaration in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that we can command our morning, we can command our day to produce what your word has said we can have. We'll shake the very wicked right out of it. That wickedness that always comes to try and rob us of your favor, rob us of your blessings. We shake the wicked right out of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Let Job 38, 12, and 30 be released over our lives, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Can you give it the Lord a big amen? Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lorna. God bless Amen. you. Praise the, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, friends, this, this morning, or this afternoon, should I say, I want to pay tribute to my dad. Many of you know my dad. Maybe some of you don't know my dad. My dad passed away. 1st of October 2019 over six weeks he was in hospital I love my dad today my dad's in the cloud of witnesses I have a photo of my dad here with my boys and I aim to be like my dad I aim to be a good man a good father Bringing up my boys, Joshua and Isaac, in the ways of the Lord. My dad never gave up on me. He never gave up on me, and I'll never give up on my children. And I'll never give up on the children of our church and the men of our church and the fathers of our church. My dad always taught me to be honest, to be a man of integrity. He always taught me to do things right taught me to be brave, he taught me to love, to be kind, to treat my wife like he would treat his wife, my mom. And I just want to say thank you to the Lord for my dad. He wasn't just a pastor, he wasn't just a policeman, he was my dad. He was a good policeman, he was a fantastic pastor. My dad played the guitar. He wrote over 101 songs. So today, I want to pay tribute to my dad. He was a good grandpa, grandfather, opa. He was a good husband to my mom. Great grandfather. But in all of this, he was my dad. And I miss him and I respect him and I thank you dad I know you're in the cloud of witnesses that I'll make you proud as I lead not only my family but the church and I always want to just pray tribute to my dad and say thank you for the things that were instilled in my life Amen Hilton Gordon Lois. That's who my dad is. God bless you.
Father's Day. It's the first Father's Day without my dad. Turning 52 this year. On the 10th of October, my dad passed away nine days before my birthday in 2019. And 10 days before his birthday, my dad was the day after my birthday on the 11th. But I just want to say thank you to the Lord for that testimony, how good my dad was to us as a family. And I know he was good to you as a congregation when he was the pastor of the church many years back. But I just want to give God all praise, glory and honor. And I pray today that you will celebrate this Father's Day with us. And I pray that it will be a blessing to your heart. Friends, I want to just quickly give you some announcements so that you can be part of what the work of the Lord is doing, what God is doing through us uh, here in the, the online broadcast. And friends, I want you to, I want to ask you, please, let's remain faithful. This is some very trying time, very hard going. And I know it's hard in every household. But friends, let's not give up on doing and investing into the things of the anointing, into the work of the Lord. We need your help. We can't do this on our own. So I'm asking you to please support. Please, uh, we're always asking you to like, to share, to subscribe, and to comment. And I want to ask you today, friends, keep on supporting. Let's be a blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Friends, don't forget, every Sunday we have the morning services at the venue. Uh, it's a very short service. We have got a lot of restrictions from government. And that's 8.30 and 10.30. Uh, 8.30 at uh, Woodlands and 10.30 up at Message of Faith. But 5 p.m. online is a powerful word of worship and communion service. That's when we partake of communion together. And you remember at 6 p.m. Is the, is the Sunday school lesson, the animation. That will be online at the, the WFGC Facebook group page. And also there will be the memory verse that will be displayed there as we get there. And then friends, on Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. online. Now remember, 5 p.m. is on the Sunday afternoon. 6 p.m. on the Tuesday is the Bible study and prayer meeting. It's the hour of power and prayer. Hallelujah. So don't forget, next Sunday, the 28th, we have got, once again, another service at 5 p.m. Uh, online. And so I want to encourage you to prepare your communion, your emblems, have them ready so that we can partake together. And friends, every time you go online, I want to just encourage you. I know you're all learning this. We're all learning this together. But I encourage you to press a like. I encourage you to make a comment, make a Make a testimony. Give glory to God. Have an amen on there as well. Hallelujah. Don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe, and to comment. And I want to add this. Keep on supporting. Friends, please, we need your support so desperately. Uh, I know God's going to bring us through this so victorious. We're going to have a powerful testimony to the glory of God. Friends, today, as we go into the Word, I pray that you are ready for God's word today. Husbands, men, dads, hear the word of the Lord today. And I really want to encourage you here today on these qualities of a God-fearing father, a God-fearing father. Friends, I want us to turn to Micah chapter 6 verse 8. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 says, it says, yeah, He has shown you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Friends, I want to stop there and I want to, I want to say something and I, I know the, the president of our country has addressed this in a, in a way the other evening. But I want to say, friends, we are facing a major problem in South Africa with this gender-based violence. And friends, we need to, and I really want to say this as, 
as a, as a husband, as a father, and as a father and a shepherd of this church. Let us come against this gender-based violence. Let us come against these killings. Let us come against these things in the mighty name of Jesus. That is not who God wants our men to be. God wants our men to, to He requires us to do justly. He requires us to love mercy. He requires of us to walk humbly with your God. I want to ask you today, who is your God? Is it your money? Is it your power? God wants us to walk mercifully, not dominating. God wants us to, friends, God wants us to be a leader, not one that dominates. God wants us to be one that is in a good example and a testimony. God wants us to be a blessing. Today, it's Father's Day. The greatest need in our society today is for fathers who will rise up and assume their God-given role of, of responsibility in the family. Take up your responsibility. Don't leave it up to everybody else. Bring up your children in the ways of the Lord. Be a testimony to your children. Be an encouragement to your children. Don't be one that dominates. Be one that leads. When we have a look at our text in Micah chapter 6 verse 8, it gives basic responsibilities for manhood. But when a man becomes a father, those responsibilities are expanded. To do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. You see, friends, when you look at this scripture, and those that are looking at their Bible right now, you'll see it's got a question after God, question mark. Who is your God in your life? Friends, when God gives you a wife, husbands, when God gives you children, they are a gift from God. And you must cherish them. You must love them. You must protect them. Hallelujah. Father's Day. I want to give you five areas from God's Word here today. What God requires, the qualities of a God-fearing father. Number one, a godly father loves God. He loves God. He puts God first. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. This is the basis upon which happiness is built. Priorities of relationship. Put God first. If you do not have a right relationship, Father, man, sir, if you do not have a, a right relationship with God, it is futile to think you, that you have a good relationship with others. Put your relationship right with God. Get your relationship right with God. If you're running from God, you'll never have peace. Settle, settle your relationship with Him first. Put Him first. Put Him first in your life. Put Him first in your business. Put Him first in everything that you do. Put God first. Have a love for God. Love God. Have a relationship with God. I learned that from my dad. God was first in everything. God was first. You ask anybody how much they love my dad. My dad's life impacted many people. All walks of life impacted by my dad's testimony. And I want to do the same. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 21 says, There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. God will not bless wickedness. And this gender-based violence is wickedness. God will not bless it. God will not bless it. Hear me today. As a leader in our community, God will not bless that. God wants us to be men of integrity. God wants us to love our families. You'll never win your family by dominating. You'll never win your family in that way, in doing injustices and wickedness. Secondly, 
A godly father loves his wife. Love your wife. That is who God gave you. Treasure her. Love her. Most husbands assume love is sex. Now, friends, there's no getting away with it. It is part of the love. But it's not all the Bible says it's about. Friends, her body belongs to God. Her life belongs to God. Cherish her, love her, care for her. My Bible tells me, and we get some valuable, powerful advice from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Verse 25 through to 33 says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and he gave himself for her. It says here that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. Cherish your wife. Love your wife. Don't beat your wife. Don't beat your children. That's not who God wants you to be. God made you to be honorable, respectful, lover, like Christ loves the church. Verse 29 says, For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. So, husbands, fathers, respect is earned. She'll never respect you if you hurt her. Love her. Cherish her. Your children will look up to you. They follow what you do. I encourage you here today to hear the word of the Lord. The Bible goes on. Real love seeks to meet all the needs of the other person. When we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through to 13, and I'm not going to read the whole thing because of time, it gives us a definition of what real love is all about. I want to just put, point out a few things. Love is kind. It's not rude. It's not puffed up. It's not self-seeking. It's not selfish. It thinks no evil. I want to encourage you, fathers, men, be kind. Don't be rude. Be loving. Be, be gentle. Don't be puffed up. Don't be proud. Don't be self-seeking. See how you can bless your family. Let me tell you something. When you show that love, they will respect you deeply. See, romantic actions are not an abandonment of your manliness. Nobody's challenging your manliness. But let me tell you something, men. Go open that door for your wife on the car. Pull out that chair when you get to the dinner table. Hold her hand as she's going down the stairs. Help her make the bed. Wash the bath once you've finished. Don't have to leave it up to her to do it. You do it. Do Put some washing into the washing machine and press fuzzy logic. Works it out for you. Friends, there's so many things that you can do to make your home better. Your sons are learning from you about how to treat their wives. One day they will treat their wives the same way you treat their mother. And today I want to encourage you on this Father's Day, let us have a, a check of our hearts, a, a check of our character, a check of who we are in Christ. Thirdly, a godly father loves his children. Loves his children. 
Love is more than provision for material things. Don't miss your child's childhood, your children's childhood. Be there, be present. Don't send just a present, be present. Be the present they're wanting. Friends, a child takes your presence to be your love. When they ask you to come and look at something, go and look at it with good interest. Be there at their sports events. Don't always say, oh, I'm too busy. I've got a meeting. I've got this place to be. Make a plan to get to that sports event. Yes, when discipline is required, do it in love. The Bible says in Colossians 3, 21. But it says, here to, it says to the fathers, it says, Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Don't beat them up out of anger. See, children interpret time spent with them as love. Forget what the world says about quality and quantity. Spend that quality and quantity of time with your children. Give them some time. Give them some attention. Be special. Fourthly, a godly father is a man of integrity. Our opening verse comes out with to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God. You see, friends, one thing I want to say about fathers and men, husbands, fathers and men, have integrity. Have integrity. Integrity has become almost a forgotten word. We are called to rise above how the world says and society says a father must do and say, be a man and a father of integrity. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm getting too many hallelujahs today, but I pray that we will begin to evaluate our hearts and become men of integrity, fathers of integrity. It should permeate every area of our lives. Integrity, 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 integrity in the workplace, an honest day, day's toil, in the home, fulfilled, Promises, integrity, integrity in your personal business, prompt payment of obligations, integrity in our relationships and other relationships, commitment to fulfill my commitments. People can count on you, your wife can count on you, your children can count on you, your people that you work with, your clients can count on you because you are a man of integrity. Fifthly, a godly father is a role model of God. The image of a father nowadays is not always a good one. It is said that over half of the children in South Africa grow, with, grow up without a present father in the home. It's sad, my friends. So sad. Often abandoned by their father. Or the father has become slandered because of the, his actions and his livelihood and the ways that he does. Sexual abuse and gender-based violence by men and fathers is on the rise. We've seen it all over the place. And then we tell our children, love your heavenly father. See, God is your heavenly father. We tell, tell our children that God is their heavenly father. It's a small wonder that they are afraid of him when they one day need him. See, friends, God is our help. He is our strength. But fathers, we need to be a testimony in our home. We need to be an encouragement in our home. We need to be a blessing in our home. Come on, dads. Come on, fathers. Come on, men. I encourage you. Take up your godly standard in the home. Bring it. Bring it home. Dads, men, you are shaping your children's concept of his or her heavenly father when you are not that good example. They will see God how they've been seeing you. 
You see, friends, in conclusion here today, I'm going to ask Lorna to share the offering message just now and also the communion. The Word of God is challenging each and every one of us. Men, fathers, on this Father's Day, to be a godly father. Be a godly father. Start getting back into the Word. Start praying. Start being a blessing. I want to ask you today, will you be a godly father to your children? Will you be a godly father in your home and in the society and in the church to do justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God? I end off with the scripture today before I go to the altar call and then I'm going to hand over to Lorna. Psalm 127 verses 1 through to 3. Unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. In vain you rise early and stand up late, toiling for food to eat. For he grants sleep to those who, who he loves. Sons are a heritage from the Lord. Children are reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are sons born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their enemies in the gate. With every head bowed, every eye closed, I ask you today to evaluate your heart in line with God's word. Nothing is very appropriate that we rededicate our hearts and our lives Put a check on every one of us right now. Say, Lord, forgive me. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I confess I am a sinner. I can't save myself. I need you, Lord Jesus. Please forgive me. I repent of my sin. Your word says that if I confess my sin, you are faithful and just to forgive me of all my sin. I invite you, Lord Jesus, to be my Lord and my Savior. Take my name out of the book of judgment and write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I give you my heart and my life today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. You know what my Bible tells me? That if you have prayed that prayer, you are born again. You are a child of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. To all the fathers, let us go and be better than what we ever were before. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Lorna. God bless. Amen. Well done, Pastor. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Happy Father's Day to my dad. And Dad, I want to thank you for bringing us four girls up in the ways of the Lord. And your inspiration to us has always been to just love the Lord with all our hearts and Today we're going to be giving up our offerings into the work of the Lord and as we give into the kingdom we're going to be giving even online. We're doing things a lot differently here and I encourage you that as we give that we will believe God now in this season for more souls than ever before in the name of Jesus and Father God I want to just thank you that your children we love you Lord God you are our heavenly father Lord God thank you that we love you so much and you know what even as fathers the children joins their value systems to the father and I pray that our hearts will join our value systems to the heart of God and that favor and blessing will be upon us in Jesus name as we collaborate together with heaven in Jesus name and let's all just say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. say I pray out loud I pray out loud wells of revival wells of revival new economic income economic income Jesus today I pray that you'll bless your children in the city according to Deuteronomy 28 I pray that there'll be favor in the city as your righteous people are in the city Lord God I pray for your people even as they are given to your kingdom for your righteousness and your glory that you'll create new jobs new technologies establish your kingdom Lord God Father God I thank you that we declare that when the righteous prosper the city rejoices 
Hallelujah. Lord God, thank you that you've washed and cleansed us by your blood on the cross. And Lord, if there's anyone that is not feeling well this morning, I just pray just that as you would reach your hand out thank you, Jesus. to go in the name of Jesus. Nausea to go in the name of Jesus. Back pain to go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right down the name of Jesus. Somebody with sore feet. Your feet are being healed in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, your back pain is healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Somebody with a neck pain. There's a, there's a neck pain that God just showing me. Somebody's got a neck pain right here, just the lower part of your skull, right down into Thank your neck. You, God is healing your neck Thank right you, now. We come against those migraines Hallelujah. right now in the mighty name of Jesus. By, by the stripes of Jesus. Thank you, that by your blood. Receive that healing. Yeah, Hallelujah. Healing. Hallelujah. Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name and you know of the what Lord. the Bible says in the book of Luke, it says, don't rejoice that you can have the power to cast out the evil spirits and that sick yes. people will recover, but rejoice yes. in that we will see Jesus Hallelujah. and that he's coming back to fetch us Thank and all of these earthly things will soon be gone and we'll be there to meet our maker. Our Amen. heavenly Father Hallelujah. Thank in you, the sky. Jesus. We just thank you and we love you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for spending Father's Day with Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Thank and you. And now you go and spoil your dads. Go give them a go give them a back rub and a foot <laughs> massage. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Eh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love we love you guys and we God bless you for being with us today. And I know that God's going to bless you. Don't forget to meet with us again on Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. And I know that you are going to be blessed as we continue to follow the Lord and understanding and understanding faith. Uh, let's, let's, let's grow our faith. And let's be blessed of the Lord. I'm going to ask Lorna to come back and uh, as we close off in prayer and say thank you to the Lord and just greet you. Father, I just pray right now that, Lord, as we close off this uh Broadcast. I pray for your blessing over us. I pray for a blessing over the church. I pray for a blessing over the dads. I pray for a blessing over every family and every household. Lord, those that are on the internet, those that are in the congregation, I pray for a blessing now. I release that blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I thank you that until we meet again, let your blessing and your favor rest mightily upon our lives. I thank you for this now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And remember, God bless you. That Jesus, Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Love you guys. God bless you. Love you. Amen. Bye. Bye.